And I made this video to talk about the ciliary ganglion. I had some trouble finding resources and I was looking for it, so I did some reading and I figured I should make a video for other people who might be having uh, the same problem. So before we talk about it in text format for the visual learners out there, I decided to make this schematic to hopefully help you see what's going on. This is a busy slide. Uh, I want you to focus on this yellow ring right here, which signifies the ciliary ganglion. As you can see, there are three nerve fibers coming in and three going out. The top one is a sensory root, which is a branch of the nasociliary nerve, which in turn is a branch of cranial nerve 5, V1. It comes in, does not synapse, goes out, and supplies innervation to the cornea, the iris, and the ciliary body. The second fiber is are the or the group of fibers or the sympathetic fibers. They're coming off of the carotids. This is the carotid plexus. Comes in, does not synapse, goes out, and supplies uh, innervation to the blood vessels of the eye and the dilator muscle. And finally, we have the motor root, which is coming off of the inferior division of cranial nerve 3. It comes in, this is the only one that actually synapses inside the ganglion, and goes out and provides parasympathetic innervation to the iris sphincter and the ciliary body. Now, if there's an inferior division of the cranial nerve 3, there's also a superior division. Uh, the inferior division provides the motor root, provides innervation to the inferior oblique, the middle rectus, and the inferior rectus. And the superior division provides innervation to the superior rectus and the levator muscles. Now I'll have all of this for you in text format. So the ciliary ganglion is actually located one centimeter in front of the annulus of Zinn. Now what does that mean? So annulus of Zinn is just this fibrous ring right here and it, um, it provides, uh, it covers the optic nerve as it comes into the orbit. It is also the attachment point for four of, uh, actually five of the extraocular muscles. There are only four, four shown here, but it's actually five. I think I have another figure right here, which will show you all five of the extraocular muscles that originate from the annulus of Zinn, and that's the fibrous ring. Now going back to our text, so as we talked about it earlier, the sensory root originates from cranial nerve V1. The cell body lies in the trigeminal ganglion, and it's a branch off of the nasociliary nerve. And finally, it provides sensation to the cornea, the iris, and the ciliary body. Next up, we have the sympathetic roots right here. Uh, they arise from the superior cervical ganglion. They enter into the orbit through the superior orbital fissure, and by within the tendinous ring, I'm talking about the annulus of Zinn. It does not synapse in the ciliary ganglion, and it goes on to supply the blood vessels and the dilator muscle of the eye. Finally, the motor root is a branch off of the inferior division of cranial nerve 3, and it, it arises, uh, it carries sympathetic fib parasympathetic fibers, and it arises from the edinger westphal nucleus, it does synapse in the ciliary ganglion, and it supplies the iris and the ciliary body, as noted here. Now, all of these fibers combined are what form the short ciliary nerves. So, non-synaptic sympathetic fibers, sensory fibers, and myelinated, right here, fast-conducting postganglionic parasympathetic fibers. They travel on both sides of the optic nerve and pierce the sclera, they pass anteriorly between the choroid and the sclera into the ciliary muscle where they form a plexus and supply the cornea, the ciliary body, and the iris. Now for the sake of completion, uh, I also wanted to talk about the long ciliary nerve which is a branch of the nasociliary nerve coming off right here. It provides sensory innervation to the eye, particularly the cornea. also provides some sympathetic fibers to the dilator pupillary muscles. As many of you may have already noted, that there's obviously some overlap between the function uh, of the short ciliary nerves and long ciliary nerve. Now, I read as much literature as I could, and I couldn't really find uh, any particular role for one or the other. Most of them just said that supply sensory innervation to the eye and uh, sympathetic uh, innervation to the dilator uh, muscle. So if your anatomy teacher or whoever's teaching you tells you something differently, uh, I would go by that. But in the literature, I could not find anything more specific than what I have here. 
if you have any questions about what I said or if you think there's something incorrect, please feel free to comment, let me know, and I will try to correct that and answer your question to the best of my ability. Okay, thank you very much for, uh, for watching.